today uh, we are going to see an another image based discussion where I am going to show you a stain which is used for the amyloid right. So, we all know that for detection of amyloid we use a stain called as Congo red stain right. So, we must remember that Congo red stain is used for amyloid. So, Congo red staining is used for amyloid detection right now what I am going to show you here is the important feature of the renal biopsy with Congo red staining. In this Congo red staining what we are seeing all these pink color structures see what I am making asterisk here is a pink color structure. So, these this pink color structures are outside the capillaries and these are the areas where amyloid deposition is there where amyloid deposition is there. So, this is the amyloid extracellular, acellular and pink or eosinophilic structure that is the description of amyloid on HE staining also right and now we are looking at the Congo red staining. So, Congo red staining why amyloid will catch up Congo red stain that is also one important point which we need to understand. Congo red staining will be positive for any structure where proteins are having beta pleated sheets right. So, here we are having beta pleated sheets. So, whenever you are having beta pleated sheets in any uh, component they will be positive for the Congo red staining that is the basic simple rule right and that was all India question also ki what is the basis of Congo red staining basis of Congo red staining is presence of the beta pleated sheet. So, that is why beta pleated sheets are present in amyloid right amyloid is a fibrillary glycoprotein which is having beta pleated sheets. So, because of that they are Congo red staining positive. Now, I am going to show you this this is structure this is structure of kidney biopsy which we are seeing here is Congo red stained and now we are looking at the light microscopy right this will be which are we are seeing here is a light microscopy. So, Congo red staining we are looking amyloid on light microscopy right light microscopy or sometime in exam it will be written as an ordinary light right under ordinary light. So, on light microscopy means ordinary light. So, what will be the color of amyloid on light microscopy that was the question in exam right. What will be color of amyloid on light microscopy. So, as you can see in this picture and you must remember light microscopy ordinary stain or ordinary light you will find amyloid as a pink or red color. So, light microscopy amyloid will be red or pink in appearance. So, light microscopy amyloid will be red or pink. So, the next uh, point comes in our mind this amyloid is it diagnostic this finding red pink amyloid which we are seeing on light microscopy of Congo red staining is it is it diagnostic of amyloidosis yes or no. So, answer is no it is non diagnostic right. So, always remember this red pink color is non diagnostic why it is non diagnostic because this red pink color they are having differential diagnosis it can be some other substance also right. So, right now we are seeing differential diagnosis for red pink material on light microscopy of Congo red staining of any tissue right. So, Congo red staining red pink color can be see number 1 which we are studying amyloid number 2 it can be collagen also it can be fibrin also and it can be highline substances also. So, now you can see that these are the four important differentials for red pink structure on light microscopy of Congo red staining. So, Congo red staining that is why I said when you are looking them under ordinary light light microscopy red pink color will be non diagnostic it cannot confirm the diagnosis because it can be amyloid also it can be collagen also it can be fibrin also it can be highline also. So, how you will confirm the diagnosis by Congo red staining. So, always keep this in mind because examiner will ask question with this kind of twisted language ki amyloid on Congo red staining on light microscopy red color is diagnostic or non diagnostic. Remember red color light microscopy non diagnostic right because of these differentials. So, how you can confirm the diagnosis of the amyloid. So, diagnosis of amyloidosis can be confirmed when we are looking them under polarized microscopy in polarized microscopy we will be using polarized light. So, when we are using polarized light then you will see apple green by reference range apple green 
by refringence. So, this apple green by refringence will confirm the diagnosis, right. So, now we can understand that this will be confirmatory what I am going to show you here, this will be confirmatory for diagnosis. So, this will confirm the diagnosis of amyloidosis, right. So, that is very, very important to understand. Diagnosis of amyloidosis can be confirmed only by Congo red staining when we are seeing them under polarized microscopy. When we are using polarized microscopy and we are looking them under polarized light, then only we will appreciate this apple green by refrigerance and this will confirm the diagnosis of the amyloidosis, right. So, right now I am showing you a Congo red staining light microscopic view where you can see eosinophilic or pink color structure which can be any of this amyloid, collagen, fibrin and hyaline. So, it is non-diagnostic. So, how you can confirm the diagnosis? Diagnosis will be confirmed when you are looking at the Congo red staining. So, this is the Congo red staining under polarized microscopy. So, dear friends, so what I am going to show you here, it is Congo red staining, Congo red staining and this is the polarized microscopy. So, Congo red staining polarized microscopy when you are looking at this, all these green structure which we are seeing, these are the apple green, huh, no? these are the apple green by references, right. So, whatever structure I am showing you here, all these are the apple green, apple green by references. So, whenever you find apple green by references like this, this will confirm the diagnosis of amyloidosis. So, this will confirm diagnosis of amyloidosis, right. So, during exam time, be careful. Congo red staining, light microscopy, amyloid will be red color and they will be non diagnostic. Congo red staining, polarized microscopy, amyloid, apple green by refrigerance will confirm the diagnosis of amyloidosis, right. So, be careful and watch the language. Best wishes to everyone.